What's going on guys? I'm Simple Simon, I'm your comic book noob, and I realized recently that I haven't been showing many of my comic book hauls uh, on my channel recently. I have been doing comic book haul videos, I've just been mostly just putting them on Instagram as like an exclusive haul, uh, in hopes that people might see it and be like, this guy's pretty entertaining, I might go check out his YouTube. Uh, but that hasn't really worked out. So yeah, I thought I'd do a haul video and maybe make this, I'll try to make this a weekly thing where I show you what I've picked up, not only for New Comic Book Day, but also other pickups off eBay or anything else I may have got. So yeah, this is this week's comic haul. Let's do this. All right, before I start, if you do enjoy this content, make sure you give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and check me out on Instagram. I do a lot of exclusive videos on there which aren't on my YouTube, like comic book hauls and things like that. So do follow me there if you don't already. I'm gonna start with the new comic book days I picked up today at Big City Comics. First is Batman Urban Legends issue two. I picked up the cover A, mm -hmm. and also two copies of the cover B, which was by Matina. It's a Matina, right? I actually read the first issue just the other night of this. It's actually, um, I think what they call an anthology where there's multiple stories. There's about four stories, I think, in that first issue. I really, really dug the Red Hood Batman story from that first issue. There was also a Harley Quinn Poison Ivy story, which um, I thought was okay. Um, but yeah, really dug the Red Hood story uh, in Urban Legends. So I'm excited to read that. In fact, I'll probably read the that tonight the next one is i picked up this, this is just a cover by the carnage what is it called black white and blood um gleason cover is this a variant yes it is a variant obviously he did the um spider-man i think it was 55 off the top of my head which was obviously that amazing web uh cover I thought this was really cool. There's also a Venom one, which I actually wasn't a big fan of because it just it just didn't look right. Um, the first Spider-Man one, the colors just looked spot on to look like spider webbing. And this being Carnage, the black red just really works. So yeah, just pick that up for the cover. Next one, Rorschach issue, where are we? Seven. Rorschach issue seven. Um, I'm collecting just the cover Bs. I haven't started reading it yet. I just figured I'm not a massive Watchmen fan. I just, if you don't already know, I wasn't huge on Watchmen, it just was yeah, not my thing, um, but I do look forward to reading this because um, I do enjoy Tom King's writing, believe it or not. Radiant Black issue 2, I picked up the first issue, it was okay, but it didn't grab me enough to be like, I need this on my um, my pull list. Uh, Mark had a second copy, sorry, had a copy of this lying around, so I was like, I'll just grab it just to see where it goes, so I did pick it up. Now this next one I'm excited about, Carmen issue 2. Picked up two covers, I'm oh, sorry, two copies. I dug the first issue. Just really enjoyed the story. It was just very different than anything else I'm reading. Very dark sense of humor and I absolutely loved it. And I can't wait to see where this goes. Um, that's Carmen issue two. Next is Thor issue 14. I need to catch up on this because I think I only read the first six issues maybe. I've got them all. I just haven't got around to, um, haven't been in a Thor kind of mood, so I haven't really gotten back on that. Uh, next one is Tom Taylor, Batman the Detective. I said a while ago, I did that video with Mark, uh, Dream Creative Teams, and Tom Taylor was the writer for my Batman book, so excited to see where he goes in this. Um, I heard someone say that, I think it's set in like England, or it's not set in the US or Gotham, I know that. So that's gonna be interesting. I did pick up both covers. I'll probably try to get, I wasn't definitely, I wasn't gonna go with both covers. I just thought I'll get to, I might get this signed if he's at the convention next time I go and I use that as a giveaway or something like that. So next one is the Joker issue two. I didn't mind the first issue. I'm definitely keen to see where it goes. I know a lot of people weren't pumped about it. I did pick up two copies of the cover B as well, which is a, Bumeo, right? Um, punchline cover. I didn't mind the first issue. I thought it was good enough for me to want to know what's going to happen next. Um, so yeah, I, I did pick up that too. Uh, art also by Gillam March, who's the creator, writer, and artist for uh, Carmen. All right, so that were my new comic book day pickups. I did happen to go past a couple of other shops on the way home and picked up just a couple more books. But before I do that, I want to take time to plug other channels when I do these weekly hauls. So. My favorite thing to do is actually bag and board 
while watching comic book YouTube content. So I thought I'd just plug the video um, each week that I watched um, while bagging and boarding. This week's video was Comic Books NYC, the original art hour. Carvey has um, had a show that's been going for a while where he gets people in the comic book community to show off the original art they collect. Um, so I just checked that out. It was just with him and Tony NYC Jr. And they showed off some really cool stuff. He picked up a Batman, Sean Murphy White Knight piece, which was really cool. So yeah, that is my video that I bagged and bought it to. Um, just a couple more books before I finish up. There's a little antique shop here I've mentioned in videos before called Chapel Street Bazaar. And they just have really old vintage sort of stuff. I happened to pick up a couple of things, just two comics today. One of them is a what if. I'm not huge on what if books, but this one I can get behind. What if Electra had lived? It's got a nice little romantic cover there, so I thought I'd pick that up. Now this one I picked up, because I'm pretty sure this is a key issue. I feel like it is. I've seen this book around a lot, and that is Ghost Rider issue 21. Uh, I'm not too sure what its significance is, but I figured it was in there. It was 10 bucks. It's not the best copy in the world, but yeah, why not, right? Uh, and then after that, I went past a shop called Comics R Us, uh, who are on the same street as Chapel Street Bazaar. Chapel Street, uh, and I just picked up a couple of back issues of Deadly Class. Um, I'm trying to complete the whole run <clears throat> so I can continue reading it. I've read the first 11 issues, and it probably is my favorite comic book series, even though I've only read 11 issues. I just love what it's about. <clears throat> it's a very punk rock sort of feel to it as well. Uh, it's a really good series. I highly recommend it if you have not read it. And that is my books I picked up this, oh wait, no. I've got one more. I forgot. I got some mail. So um, I'll open this up. It's gonna be a live unboxing for you guys. All right, so you know what we need? Stanley knife. Boom, Stanley knife. All right, I'm pretty sure I know what this is. It's a book I've been wanting for a little while. It's nothing huge. Again, it's just a cover buy really. Yep, that's exactly what it is. So this is a <coughs> Harley Quinn Valentine's Day special. There's three versions of this cover. And originally I want to buy all of them, but this is the main one. This is my favorite one of the lot, so I ended up picking this up. Um, really did that. It's a bondage cover, boys and girls. So um, there's a, basically two other versions of it where it's the other way around, where Harley's here and Batman's tied up upside down. And um, there's two versions of that, which has two different backgrounds. So yeah, I'm glad I finally got this one. Got it for a really good price too. This was local. I was about to buy it off someone, and then I just quickly searched to see if someone else had it and they had it way cheaper. And I think I made them an offer to knock it a few bucks off it and they accepted that too. So very happy I finally got that. And that is my books for this week. Hopefully you enjoyed that and hopefully I'll make this an ongoing thing weekly and show you what I get each week. So yeah, I am Simple Simon. Again, if you're new, please subscribe, like this video and all that other YouTube stuff. But until next time, keep it simple.